Last time we discussed arm bars from guard, and this time we are diving into our favorite polygon. Here's our MMA guard triangle study. A couple of things that will come up, the collar tie, this time from the bottom man, and the wrist up to the hip, a very common way to thwart punches. First up, a couple of grappling centric setups from We Love MMA. Adrian Zeitner using the collar tie to good effect and controlling the posture in a title match. Adrian controls the wrist on the other side before skipping the rope, jumping his leg over the far bicep and getting a good bite on the neck past the shoulder. Using the same guard, collar and wrist, Christian Mach can't create the same amount of space underneath the arm. Instead, he lines up his shin to the forearm of the opponent, slides his shin against the forearm, and comes back past the shoulder line. A bit of a hand fight, but he is on the money. Paul Craig had his most notorious win over Uncle Live in 2018. Notice the wrist stuff and Uncle Live trying and failing to land a punch. So he decides to take a huge swing with seconds to go on the round by bringing his arm all the way backwards. Craig times the punch and just barely slides the leg inside of the arm. I mean, look at that. As he locks up, it must have felt like hell because Uncle Live taps with a literal second to go in the fight. Something that can only exist in MMA, striking from the bottom or down and pound before Kevin Holland did it to Jacare. Both Tony Ferguson and all-time great Anderson Silva had their own success. In both these examples, the striking from the bottom changes the top man's posture and makes the triangle more accessible. Tony Ferguson versus Kevin Lee. Ferguson sending sharp downward elbows to the dome. Lee, wanting to prevent them, seeks a collar tie. Uh oh, you know what's up. Ferguson swivels for an armbar, crosses the ankles, extends, and comes pretty close to landing it. Lee Pinwheel escapes out of it. There's a bit of navigation with the Onclada before they find themselves back in guard. Now, Lee just wants to neutralize Ferguson's guard altogether. So much so that Ferguson has to frame on the inside of the shoulder to make space. Lee's hands are completely out of position and Ferguson slices an elbow in and you see Lee go even further into a defensive mode. Ferguson gets the wrist, and Lee is so desperate to get rid of the space between them that he collapses his posture. Ferguson does a bit of leg work and lands into a triangle. A moment later, he pulls down on the leg and lands the tap. And the piece de resistance, UFC 117 Silva versus Simon, perhaps the most famous triangle in MMA history, and a fight that was basically 20 minutes of Deep into the fifth, Silva is staying busy off his back. Here is the moment things start turning around. Notice the wrist stuff and sudden pitter pattering his way to UFC gold. Silva loads up a right and launches a straight at Sunnen that stuns him. Look at his posture collapse here. Sonnen is then, much like Lee before, on the defensive. The wrist is still stuffed, and by clamping down the bicep lock, Silva has one arm in and one arm out, and goes for it. Look at that face. Look at that face. He gets a bite above the shoulder. Silva applies a pull on the head, and Sonnen tries to do a stirrup skate. Silva then finishes with the armbar. There you have it. Five examples of triangles from guard in MMA. Triangle choke that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon next to it to get notifications for our upcoming videos. You can also find us on Instagram and TikTok at We Love MMA. And you can watch more than 700 fights at WeLoveMMA.com.